against corruption that's been going back on. There's been an election. The president has been elected. I was in a call with the observer. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like the international community is taking side with Kabila, who's actually been a part for the last 10 years and people have been shuffling the last 10 years. Now, Kabila is presumably not from Congo. People are saying he's from Rwanda. He came to our country, he was by the country. Kabila's parents are from Kigano, uh, and he's backed by the British government. British government people like Tony Blair are big friends of Kagame. And we, we're here to demonstrate and not pretend to show them that we're not going to tolerate any more nonsense from anybody. We're here to stand up and fight for our country. Excellent. Um, okay. And what do you say to people, at, uh, uh, Londoners, who say it's a, it's a nuisance? You know, you you basically shut down the whole streets and causing a nuisance. We, we do not think it's a nuisance because when we were standing on the pavement, we didn't get no media coverage. What we had to do, we had to go on board for the media to come and pay us attention. You know, we've been asking for media coverage in this country, we haven't been getting it. People have been dying. More than eight million people have been dying in the Congo. There hasn't been no media coverage, whatever. We had to, we had to take us to on board for the media to come. So this is. It's not nuisance. Okay, nice one.